Hey guys, in today's lesson video, I'm going to talk about the pelvis and the hips in the downswing in particular. So if you have early extension problems or if you can't rotate throughout the whole golf swing, please watch this whole video. So to get straight into the video, let's talk about our hips and our pelvis as setup. So in the golf swing, we don't hit the golf ball just standing straight up. We hinge from the hips and we have this angle we created right here. And what happens is, is in the backswing, while we extend our trail leg, we get a little bit taller, and this hip hinge that we had at our setup position at address decreases to the top of the backswing. But what we have to realize is when we go back in transition to around halfway down, we have to recreate that hip hinge again. So setup position, backswing, we get rid of that hip hinge, and in the downswing, we have to create that hip hinge again and create this angle. So for most golfers, what they do wrong is they have the hip hinge at a setup position, they decrease it, have a really good backswing, but in the downswing, they just swing and rotate from this position. That's why they get closer to the golf ball and early extend. What we have to realize is we have this hip hinge at setup position in the backswing that goes away and in the downswing to around halfway down, we have to recreate that hip hinge and get our pelvis to point a little bit more towards the ground instead of straight in front of us. So if we just think about regaining that hip hinge naturally from the top of the backswing position, our left hip and our left pelvis is going to push back a little and my butt is not going to early extend and I'm going to create a little bit of fold in my hips again and I'm going to get into a very good position that everybody wants to be in, in transition. Butt back, chest down, and the golf club coming down right into the slot. So realize that we have to create that hip hinge again in the downswing, in transition, and that's how you're going to stay in the shot and really compress the golf ball. So if I show you guys, it's going to look something like this. When you guys practice, go to the top of the backswing, and without doing anything with your hands and your arms. Don't think about hitting the golf ball. From the top of the backswing, just think about recreating that hip hinge and get, getting back into this position. Then automatically, the golf club is going to fall right into the slot. And from here, once you get into this position, and only when you get into this position, then you can think about hitting the golf ball. So if I hit a little shot for you guys, it's going to look something like this. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel grow. And for online lessons on Skillist, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks, guys.